uh, in this day we are on this particular boom day we are given that the share prices constantly keep on rising throughout the day which means from 10 till 3 there is a constant rise. Now uh, let us see what about what happens to A. A buys everything at 10 am and sells everything at 3 pm. Now obviously his return is going to be the maximum because all his money has seen the appreciation which has happened which is all of the appreciation from 10 to 3. Now uh, when we come to B and C, now though they are buying at same times, the difference is um, that B is buying equal units whereas C is buying equal amounts. Now what happens when B buys equal units? The price is going up which means that the subsequent investments of B throughout the day keep on increasing which means if this if, if B made some investment at uh, 10 am then that investment grew at 11, grew further at 12, would grow further at 1 and would grow further at 2 pm. Now compared to C which would make same amounts of investment at all points of time. Now very clearly we can see that uh, supposing we take out the average time of investment of all this money then uh, for obviously for B it, it will be later in the day compared to C which means that the amount of time for which uh, the money has seen the appreciation is more in case of C uh, compared to B, B because B is investing more of its money towards the end and hence there is less time for appreciation. Uh, therefore, um, therefore, definitely in this case uh, Bikram or B is the person who gets the minimum amount of return.